I'm a handwoven textile designer. I weave blankets by hand. You're constantly doing something with weaving, whether that's winding a bobbin, threading up, coming up with your next design or your colourway, working out which warps need to be made or what yarns can be used. So there's never a time to stop. I like the fact that it's a gradual process. Um, you gradually see your colour in your design building. It's very tranquil. As soon as the warp's been chained, I can see these colours grouping together and it just fills me with so much excitement. I can't wait to see what colours are going to be put through the weft and how that blanket's going to end up feeling. My least favourite bit is washing the blankets. It takes forever. But it's all done by hand. Well, actually, washing the blankets is actually the only process that's not done by hand. I do the traditional stomping method, so it's done by foot. I see it as like a thread journey from a cone to a woven blanket. And it's by those different pieces of threads and those different colour combinations placed together that just makes each one unique. Every time I beat the loom, it could be a different evenness and that can make each one unique. If I go that extra step further, I make sure that each weft is completely different and each colour proportion is completely different. The patterns and the warp create the collection where it's the weft that makes it unique. I also like to design or adapt traditional patterns to make them my own. I like to do this because I feel that I'm still utilising skills and still keeping tradition going, but putting a modern twist on it. I love choosing colours. That's what makes each bit of the day exciting. The fact that yes, I am sat on my loom yet again, and yes it is the same warp and it's another throw, but it's a completely different colourway. Colour helps you feel. So you can feel emotions through different colour combinations. It's not until it's on the tenter frame that I really see the true magic of the colours pushed through together. That's when you can stand back and really appreciate the work that I've just put into all of that and how wonderful and lovely it looks and feels. Once it's on the tenter frame, you can see each proportion is completely different. The colours are different. Yes, the pattern and the warp is the same, but it's just a truly individual piece of art. I don't get many faults, but I also see them as part of the handmade process. That's what makes it beautiful. You know it's been made by a human. Because I live in the Forest of Dean, I find it very relaxing and I love the colour green because it's just everywhere. I look so many different kinds of tones. I feel most relaxed when I'm outside, so that's why a lot of my inspiration comes from me walking around. There's so many different tones and colours and patterns to see. Just walking around the forest, there's so many different sections, different colour combinations, the patterns, I love the fir trees, how pointy they are. I just feel inspired all the time. So that's why it's been really important to me when I've been putting green through my warp, there's two or three different shades amongst that. So then when I'm weaving, I know that I've got two or three different shades that can go through the weft to make them look different. Each blanket seems to have its own personality. Sometimes I can put a blanket on and go, oh, that looks really calm, that would look really lovely and relaxing. Yes, I can see that in a living room. Or I put one of the midnight ones on with a bit of poppy green in it or a bit of an orange and I'm like, wow, that's really fun, isn't it? That's a completely different feel to the moss one that I've just put up. They all feel completely different. They make you have different emotions and that's what's so beautiful about them. Making each throw unique means that only you will own that one. So there's only gonna be one kind of that in the world. There won't even be two exactly the same. I've got a Welsh background and we have quite a few Welsh blankets that have been passed down through generations. And I think it's so lovely that that blanket and that material can witness so many emotions, different stages of someone's life. I am creating something that could potentially be passed down and just be made part of their family history.